Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is still the morning. We still have 15 minutes left of this morning. Here we're here for our first stream back of 2023. Trying to get used to writing three and saying three is completely... T- <laughs> it's, it's very difficult <laughs> for someone like me. I, I will probably get used to writing it and saying it around about June time later on this year. Um, but yes, it is a new year, so welcome, welcome, welcome to Ice Cream Uploads. Um Again, thank you for those of you that have stuck around for the beginning of this year. I know there's been over 165,000 of you that have listened to this podcast over the last three and a half years. Um, So we welcome you into this brand new year and hope that we either uh, keep you guys that want to continue listening to this podcast or, uh, you know, end up getting some more people who would like to listen to this too. Um, Usually there would be two of us. It would be myself and Graham. A man is Bibi, by the way. I would bring up... um, I don't know what Graham usually does this part. So is it stream config and then our names? Yeah, so I'm Bibi. I'm the one that's down here because I usually sit a little bit further over here. But there is usually a gentleman next to me here uh, called Graham. He is off this week. Uh, He'll be back on Monday. So you may end up seeing him uh, for his first scoop of the year next week. But as it stands, you are just getting me for today. My name is Bibi and I welcome you here again for the first scoop of the year. I hope that you've all had a fantastic Christmas or festival or holiday season uh, wherever you are in the world so I do hope that you've had uh, a restful t- a restful period of doing absolutely nothing apart from eating not celebrations no one's eating celebrations anymore definitely heroes and definitely some roses maybe a few quality streets for good measure too so yes welcome 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 and uh, Tito says happy 2022 <laughs> another holiday I want a job at Jelly Media he's never in to be fair he's never in he's always off doing something um whether or not he's just at home or he is going to New York, as some of you may have seen from his social media post earlier on today. Um, it's, it's his wife's 40th birthday today, which is obviously why he's not in this week. Um, and my my wife's birthday is on Saturday as well. So it's very strange that me and Graham have birthdays very close to each other. And so do our wives. It, I find that very bizarre. And he lives on a street that I used to live on, not in Salford, but it has the same street name in Hyde, which is crazy really um a world of you know i was gonna say consequences that's not the word it coincidences that's the words we're looking for um but lakes in here as well as tito tito i am using your face cup today i don't know if i can get a close-up of this cast the cameras is this gonna work nope the elgato doesn't want to work that doesn't work and neither does this one. Oh, yeah that doesn't work at all uh so you probably nope I've just turned them all off. So, you, yeah, you can't see that one. I don't know why the Elgato is not working. It wasn't working last week either. Um, it was last week, the week before last. Um, but, yeah, we'll get that working at some point. I just came in here. It's a very, very busy week this week, and it will be next week and the week after that. And the week. January is crazy at the moment, so I don't know how many episodes of The Scoop we're going to be able to do this week, next week, and the week after. Um, we probably will end up going back to five shows a week from February um, because at this moment in time, it's just way, way too busy. So we're, I'm going to fly through the news today. It's going to take about 45 minutes, so I do hope that you can stick around or if you listen to this for the first time, fantastic. We do have the loot drop as well today. So you guys that were absolute legends who, who stayed subscribed over the festive period without us actually doing any streams. Like, I was planning on maybe doing one or two, but time escaped me and I genuinely wanted to do nothing. Like, I genuinely did nothing. Hardly played any games. I played Temtem. I bought, I bought it for my Switch so that I could sit there in the front room with my son while he's fucking about with all his toys and stuff. And I could sit there and be a very good parent by not watching my son fuck about with all his toys. Um, and I very did very, very little PlayStation or PC gaming. I played like six hours of Gas, gas Station Simulator and I wasn't intending on doing. I literally d- booted it up at like 10 o'clock and then didn't get off it until like half past one, two o'clock in the morning, which is unheard of for me. Usually I'm falling asleep by then. Um, oh, Tito's just subscribed for 21 months using Prime as well. Unfortunately, if you wasn't already in the loot drop for yesterday, I'm going to check actually. I'm going to check. I've got the names here. I'm going to check the names here. Tito. It doesn't look like you are. So the cutoff was yesterday at 3 p.m. on Monday. It was the first Monday of the month that was workable, obviously, because it was bank holiday the week before. So unfortunately, you're not going to be in this one, Tito, which is a crying shame. Uh, Lake says, what do we learn from this? Never get wives. No, I love my wife dearly. I have to say that in the public domain. Um, 
because she is my wife. Tino says, it's fine. Twitch would be deplatform you for showing offensive images if it dared show you it. I mean, it's a lovely face. People have said, is that your brother on there? Which I'm taking as a huge compliment. Hmm. That's a good cup of tea. So yesterday, 3 p.m., we scraped all the names off for the loot drop. Speaking of loot drops... It's going to be a game of your choice today. Obviously, you'll you'll get if you're not here, that's absolutely fine. We'll trim it up. We'll put it into the Discord for you. But last month's loot drop was claimed, and I have messaged the person who won it about six times asking for his game, and I've yet to hear back from him. I even nudged him two days ago. Nothing. I'm going to nudge him again today, and then I'm going to I'm going to, I need to make a decision on whether or not he's going to still get it. I mean, he's claimed it. But there's only so many times that I can keep actively messaging someone to say, what do you want? What do you want? He messaged me back way before Christmas, like on the 23rd, and said, I'll find out from my nephew what he wants for Christmas. And then I heard nothing back. So it could just be that we end up re-raffling two of them. Because uh, I still have the list from last month's. And then we'll do that one again. Um, because I feel like at this point, nearly a month after the fact, you know, we'd, we probably need to do a re-roll or something um, but for those of you that are new around here this is the scoop the uk's number one video game podcast even if we do say so ourselves we go live each and every single weekday at 10 a.m ish is 10 to 12 and it definitely isn't every single day at this moment in time again i apologize we do try to keep you updated as much as possible through our discord as to this podcast is obviously done during um well at this moment in time during work hours so the work obviously comes first um so we need to make sure that everything is going as well as because if we don't do the work we don't get paid if we don't get paid we don't have a job if we don't have a job the job will no longer be here do you know what i mean do you know what i mean Money makes the world goes round and I need to be paid and so does everybody else. So we need to make sure that we stay on top of our work stuff, which is why we do this as and when we're available to do so. So do stick around. If you are obviously not in our Discord, please do so. Get involved with our Discord because uh, we do notify as and when we are going to be able to go live as well as, um, again, did want to do community nights over the Christmas period, played no games. So it's one of those where I did want to do something, didn't find time to game myself, which is why nothing happened. Um, but we will get some going. At some point, uh, when availability when availability does start to stretch a little bit further open, but again, you can find this podcast on all of our social media platforms. It's ice cream waters across everything, as well as all the uh, all the podcast services, all the major ones. That is, again, search for the scoop ice cream uploads, and you will be able to listen to this across all of those. So I do appreciate it for all you guys that do end up doing that. Um, we've got five news stories today, as well as the loot drop. So we are going to fly through these because I have a very busy afternoon planned. Uh, um, so yeah, I, I suppose we better just jump straight into it. Tino says, I wouldn't have won anyway, let's be honest, so no loss. <laughs> I love I love the commitment to actually wanting to be a part of it, but then the very same note, just going, oh, I'm never going to win anyway. Pirate said this and then eventually won. Um, so you never know, you never know. Um, but it is going to be a game of your choice, um, whoever does win today. So we'll, 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 we'll keep you on your toes for that one as to when that's going to be. But anyway, let's jump into our first news story of the day. The first news story is written on, uh, on Eurogamer by Vicky Blake, and she says that Nintendo's patched uh, security vulnerability that could give hackers a full console takeover. Games affected by the EN buffer pwn <laughs> exploit has been patched throughout 2022. So uh, for those of you that are unaware of what this is obviously we're going to go through this but this is a huge security update which could potentially have bricked your console as well as gaining access to all of your information very much like spyware shall we say but anyway nintendo has quietly patched a security vulnerability that could have give hackers access to compromised switch 3ds and wii u games remember when nintendo first released uh, its update for mario kart 7 in 10 years well it turns out that this was to address uh, so address a critical exploit that could allow an attacker to achieve a full console takeover Whilst this issue was reported first noted in 2021, Pablo MK7, Rambo 6, Glass, Fish Guy 6564 have been credited with the discovery, to, uh, discovery of the ENL buffer pwn, which exploits so serious it was given a critical score of 9.8 out of 10 in the C uh, CVSS 3.1 calculator. As spotted by Nintendo Everything, the exploit was also repeatedly patched for Mario Kart 8, Deluxe, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Arms, Splatoon, and Super Mario Maker 2 as well. A Splatoon 3, Super Mario Kart 8, a short while back, as according to one of the people who discovered it, combined with the OS exploits, the vulnerability could allow an attacker to achieve a full console takeover. And there's um, 
a little video inside here, which I think it might end up playing, um, even though it's embedded on this one, so we'll leave that over the time being. But anyway, by reporting the issue via Nintendo's Hacker One program, the hackers secured a thousand pound bounty, and it remains unclear if affected Wii U games will simply, uh, similarly be patched. As for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, its most recent update saw the arrival of a third wave of DLC courses, and the option to customise items, including Ed feels, uh, so, sorry, something Ed feels is the best thing to happen in Mario Kart 8. So, I love the fact that there is bounces being placed on exploits because that is one way for people to be able to, I don't know, earn money, shall we say, for using their skills and their uh, experience or trying to get in behind paywalls or get, trying to get in behind firewalls or whatever it could be um, that essentially earns them money for their experience and their intelligence. And there has been so many instances over the last 20 years uh, especially in tech and gaming where people are extremely smart and they've managed to backdoor entrance um into whatever kind of software it is and then the people who own the company go do you know what you obviously know what you're doing the people who are here had no idea that this was even an open gate do you fancy coming working for us and being head of our security as uh, our, uh so not social security uh, i like our it infrastructure and they're gone do you know what it's probably worth my money um so yeah, it's I love stuff like this because people go out of their way to be able to do it. Now, a thousand pounds doesn't sound a lot, which it isn't. There'll be bounces that are worth twenty, thirty thousand pounds where they'll go, okay, we'll try and get into this, and then if people can't, they end up getting the money. So it basically it's an incentive for them to be able to try and break the system so that they can learn how they can patch that system and make sure it never happens again. Everything it appears everything is, you know open to again interpretation or open to be able to be broke and get into a back end it, it feels like the nothing is sacred nothing is secure you can be as secure as you want to be but technology advances and different ways of being able to crack cases um and crack it crack systems like to be fair there isn't that many i don't remember the playstation 4 being hacked or jailbroken now, that, that is something that was obviously rife through the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 life cycle. The PlayStation 4, if it did get jailbroken, probably wasn't as... I'm going to use this word now, so you dirty-minded people in the chat, keep it to yourself, but penetrated. Um, I don't remember it having the full access that the Xbox 360 did. Uh, so for reference, way back when, I had a jailbroken um, Xbox 360. <laughs> Giggity uh, says Tito. I had a jailbroken 360 and I'll be able to play um, patched games, play modded games, be able to do whatever and be able to gain access to Xbox Live all at the same time. I don't remember that being the case with the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. If it had been jailbroken, chances are you'll be able to play games via a memory stick or a hard drive or something like that, but then maybe not have access to online stuff. Like you can jailbreak your Nintendo Switch now. If you don't access the online part of it, it's, you can buy... Uh, a, a, SD cards that has thousands of games already built onto it that you can just plug into your um, Nintendo Switch and play whatever you want like it's a piece of piss um, there's no it doesn't feel like that has been patched at all but with the PS4 and uh, the, the Xbox One console, I don't remember remember that being the case. If it is, again, it'll be an offline-only console. Uh, maybe it's something that I probably should research a little bit more, but it's... It, it, you know, the, the Xbox 360 was just so commonly pirated that myself and my friends all had pirated games way back when. Obviously, that is horrendous. Um, and I was a kid. <laughs> I was a, well, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was a child. I, I couldn't afford games. Um, and it was definitely, I shouldn't have been doing it kind of thing, but it, that was just the way back when I mean people was doing it with the Dreamcast and the PlayStation 1 the PlayStation 2 is a dime a dozen you can get them anywhere but yeah um, anyway as I've just ended up outing myself as a criminal I'm going to say I did it with one game I did it with one game not a library of games just to add a little bit of context to that one okay we'll move on 
But yeah, the stuff like this, I love the fact that they do have bounces up there. People want their systems to be broken into. Obviously not to take confidential. I mean, I don't know whether or not it's, it's got to be dummy servers that they're doing this on. Like maybe not for this, but when the poster bounce it, it's got to be dummy servers because if you're wanting people to be able to get in and crack something, you don't want real information there, surely. Oh, 101, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it was one of the Game Boy cartridges that had 100 games that it was the same 10 games repeated with different names. So like in Super Mario, rather than Super Mario, it was Super Dario and Super Tario and Super Lario or whatever it is. Uh, ice Cream Uploads and Jelly Media do not endorse piracy of any kind. Remember, you would not steal a car. There you go. I will have that as a little sound bite. Are you ready? One sec. Ice Cream Mutt and Jelly Media do not endorse piracy of any kind. Remember, you would not steal a car. There you go. We'll clip that up. We'll get it sound bited. We'll put that anytime anyone mentions any kind of broken system. Okay? Uh, Dave says, the PS4 was jailbroken by firmware 6.7, I think, but it, uh, but it was... But I don't know if it was a full break because the console was out of my price range. Uh, I'm not even Sea of Thieves. You see, this is the thing. It was so common for Xbox 360s and PlayStation 3s to be jailbroken, as well as PlayStation 2, PS1, Dreamcast, and any other disc-based system from way back in the day. I don't know to what extent the PS4 would have been jailbroken. Because I, I in, in my circle of friends and people that I know online, I didn't know anybody that had a jailbroken PlayStation 4 and played online. So if it did, I imagine it may be one of those that you can play backups of in dev mode and then not be able to access any of the online part. Like, you can do that with the Series S and X now. There is exploits where you can have stuff in dev mode and be able to play games that doesn't affect the, obviously, retail mode of the game. So, again, it's it, it could well have been the case, but I don't believe, from, what, from my memory and what I have as a circle of friends or acquaintances or people that I know that do that stuff or used to do that stuff quite frequently, I don't remember or can't remember any of them that have a jailbreak or jailbroken PS4 and be able to play stuff online that maybe wasn't a backup. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people just aren't asked anymore because most of the games that more people play are free-to-play games that just don't have the need to want to be able to do it anymore. And the fact that Game Pass and PlayStation Now exists, well, PlayStation Now to some extent, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know whether or not the need for being able to have a thousand games that you've managed to buy off Blu-ray down the road is a requirement anymore because of how cheap those subscriptions are. In some cases, Xbox uh, Game Pass and not PlayStation Plus Premium or whatever it's called. But yeah, I love the fact that the bounces are available, but I hope that it's not real information that people have access to because if it's a full console, like it's said in here, a full console control, ooh, a £1,000 for a bounty seems quite low, don't you think? Uh, surely it was, should have been a lot more than that. But I digress, let's move on to the next news article. Again, we've still got four more to go, as well as the loot drop, so we're picking up the pace as we're going through this, just to make sure that we cover everything and I'm back and I'm ready, available for something to be able to do this afternoon. Um, let's get this news article up. It's a game that I'm super looking forward to, that has had a little bit of shit talked about it. Um, so we'll take this uh, well, we'll take this news article for, what it, for, for, for face value, because it doesn't include anything like that, but anyway... Redfall is reportedly targeting a May release date. This has been written by Andy Robinson over at VGC, and he says that the Arcane and Bethesda shooters are officially due out sometime this year. Uh, that's according to Windows Central, which claims to have heard via sources that the title will release in the first week of the month if development goes to plan. Officially, Redfall has a 2023 release window. Redfall is a story-driven open-world FPS which will be playable, or, uh, playable solo or with a team of up to four players in co-op. It sees players battling to defeat legions of vampires who have cut the quaint island of uh, Redfall, Massachusetts off from the outside world. Redfall is our effort to take on what Arcane does well, a hybrid of first-person games and RPGs, and stretch ourselves a little bit. The director, Harvey Smith, of Dishonored and Duos X fame, recently said on the title, Does it work in the open world? Does it work both solo and with co-op players? Can we take all of our narrative layers and improvise... Uh, imp <laughs> improvisional mechanics to our style and spread that out across an open world? 
Last May, Bethesda delayed the Redfall and Starfield releases from 2022 to 2023 when both titles were made available on the Xbox Series S and X and also on PC. The teams at Arkane Austin Redfall and Bethesda Game Studio Starfield have an incredible ambitions for their games and want to ensure that you do receive the best and most polished versions of the games. <laughs> hate that word. Um, we want to thank everyone for their excitement for Redfall and Starfield and that energy is a huge part of what inspires us every day and drives our own excitement for what we are creating. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a game that I have been looking forward to since... I'm going to say Gamescom 2019, maybe? Was that when it was shown? Me, me, Graham, Asim, Nico, and I think Show ended up doing a watch along and we saw this for the first time. It can't have been 2019 because I'm fairly certain that's the Gamescom that I went to, so it could have been 2020. So for the last couple of years, or nearly three years at this point, I've been waiting for this game to come out. I love team-based shooters. I love games like Left 4 Dead. I love games like Back 4 Blood. I don't think this is obviously going to be playing on that kind of mechanic because I think it's a third-person shooter rather than a first-person one. I could be wrong with that one. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what this game is. I know a lot of people have been giving this game shit from what they've seen so far. I really Is it a first-person shooter? Uh, bringing Redfall to life. Right, okay, so I'm just going to watch this for a second and see if it has any gameplay in there. Ah, it does look like a first-person shoot. I thought it was third, but that could have just been from uh, a perspective. Yeah, it looks like a first... Ah, it is a first... Sorry, I don't know where I got that from. I remember now when it was going through the through the attic and it is first-person. Yeah, I don't know where I'm not getting third-person from, but either way... This is a game that I'm super, super, super looking forward to. I know games like this tend to get a lot of shit because I don't have that much replay value, but hopefully with some RPG elements in this one, it does give us some a lot of replay value. Like, Back 4 Blood does to a large extent because you end up getting new cards for your deck. You can end up doing the same missions over and over again, but maybe on a harder difficulty with a better deck of cards uh, and then you can use to your advantage. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. I love playing games like this based off of team building... Uh, to, uh, team mechanics so let's hope that it delivers on that front if I'm a day set, ironically the ad you wouldn't steal a car actually used a song they didn't pay the license for so effectively steal the music I did not know that that is a fantastic fact to know uh, first person uh, Cedar says third person shooter Gray might actually play it oh no <laughs> yeah it's the first person one um well if he doesn't have PUBG dailies within the game he ain't gonna boot it up we all know this I think it well, he did actually post on the Discord that he set up his Xbox One and he's just installed PUBG on it and he's not done anything else. <laughs> like, we knew that this was going to be the case. We could see it a mile off. Yeah, here we are. Um, not surprised in the slightest. Well, speaking of a game that we're super excited for and another game that seems to be getting a lot of shit, uh, let's move on to this article. Rin by Jessica Philbit on Dexerto. I think this might actually be the third time that we've ever published any, uh, but yes, written, read anything on Dexerto. Uh, but here we are. The day before release date, trailer, platforms, and more. The day before is a survival MMO, yes, set in the desolate lands of post-pandemic America, filled with flesh-eating monsters and desperate survivors. Sounds... That sounds a lot like today. Here's everything that we know about the upcoming game, including its release date, platforms, and more. When the day before was originally announced, it quickly became one of the most wishlisted games on Steam. Since then, the release date has been delayed many, and many more, uh, many players lost hope regarding its appearance in the gaming world. Despite this, the day before has prevailed and is now kitted out for a full release soon. With that in mind, we've compiled everything that you need to know about the upcoming game, along with when you need to expect it, the platforms you can play it, and what the game is about. So the day before has a release date now of March the 1st, 2023, which is just less than two months away. I cannot wait. This news comes after a year of waiting for news and updates. When the game was first announced, it was initially planned to have uh, been released in June 2020. The day before was then unfortunately delayed, but finalised release date has now been confirmed and players can expect to head into the apocalyptic world in March 2023. The day before trailers, and uh, this is a subtitle, when the day before was originally announced, the developers was raised the trailer detailing small clips of gameplay and the design that the MMO will encapsulate. You can watch the trailer below. It's a three and a half minute trailer, which we aren't going to watch in its entirety, but we'll watch this little bit here. Is this the bit where they run into the house towards the end? Oh no, this is at the shopping centre. It looks so cool, man. Like It looks so frigging cool.
So as you can see, it looks like we have base building mechanics within the game too. Um, so you can go out, forage stuff, come back, upgrade your gun, upgrade your gaff. All things you'd expect from any kind of MMO these days. I feel like if they didn't have this kind of stuff in there, it would probably would put people off. But along with the game's announcement, GeForce released this new RTX 4K exploration, providing that some players in this game will undeniably be aesthetically pleasing. It also contains more gameplay and some of the use of the game's weapons. You can watch the 4K gameplay below. Um, so this is only a minute long, so we might be able to get some kind of action out of this. So yeah, it looks badass, man. Like, it looks badass. Not ass, badass. Look at this. This is the kind of shit that we want. This is the kind of stuff that when we was playing State of Decay, we thought, Do you know what? State of Decay 3 has the potential to be something like this. So it has State of Decay elements along with what I feel like is the division. Um, so uh, Tito will obviously be very familiar with that, with uh, with ads being very familiar uh, with State of Decay. So I feel like it's blending most of these uh, the, these two elements together with maybe some DayZ stuff mixed in too, just to sprinkle on top. I feel like this is going to be either an absolute roaring success are absolute shite and I'm hoping for the former I'm hoping that this game is a success because it has all like that looks very GTA there did you not think like with the over the shoulder camera very zoomed into the face with the uh, towards the left hand side of the screen with you firing your gun it, it seems to borrow a lot of elements of games that are hugely successful and do it extremely well so if you are pinching stuff from those games and you're creating one that you want to be up there with those games, then this is probably the way to be able to do it. It just needs to cover all of those bases and do it right. You can't pinch stuff from various games that makes those games great and then not either build on that or make them similar to what you experience in those games. Like imagine imagine the driving of G like the way GTA 5 is now, but like with the driving of GTA 4, I don't think the game would be nearly as successful as it is now because GTA 4 was a fantastic game. The the driving was ass. It was like you was constantly pissed behind the wheel. It just didn't it just didn't handle very well. Um, I know it's not meant to because she was, you know, so uh, I think your character was meant to develop and you wasn't meant to be someone who's a high profile shooter and you know a, a fantastic world renowned driver. And I mean GTA 5 arguably t is exactly the same. You was uh, technically three no marks. Um, so, you know, I hope that they end up taking elements from those games and just lean into them, but make them worthwhile. Um, the day before is uh, the day before is an intense open world survival MMO set in apocalyptic zombie style America, feeling very much like The Last of Us, uh, where your sole purpose is to stay alive by finding food, weapons, and cars. The game is set primarily around resource collecting and exploration, but does contain both PVE and PvP, meaning players will need to keep an eye on their surroundings at all times. Along with the tense action-heavy gameplay, the, the setting is primarily in a New York style cityscape with a sprinkling of forest and darker landscapes complete with beautiful graphics and even moodier lighting. So this is going to be available on your PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and also on your PC. There is yet to be any word regarding a Steam Deck, Nintendo Switch, or Mac release. Let's be honest, this isn't going to be something that's going to be available on the Nintendo Switch. I will, I will be extremely surprised if this is something that's going to be on the Nintendo Switch. I can't see that ever being the case. Um, they will have to dumb it down so well. They're just showing you a trailer there of how pretty this game is. Um, <laughs> I'll be very surprised if they try to be, if they even have half that kind of prettiness on the Nintendo Switch. I'll be very surprised if Hogwarts Legacy ever gets released on Nintendo Switch. Like we've seen it running on there and it runs like ass. Like they need to do so much optimizing on that game. It's not going to look anywhere close to what the PlayStation 5 and Xbox games are going to look like. It, it was quite difficult to make them match what the PlayStation 4 was capable of doing. So what they're going to be able to try and do with that, I'm not too sure. But it's a game that I'm super looking forward to. March the first, get it in your calendars because it will be a game that we will be streaming heavily on this channel, whether or not it will just be me on my own or with the likes of Tito, anybody else in the chat, or if Graham decides to play anything other than PUBG, this is the place that you're going to want to subscribe to uh, and be following to have the ability to be able to do and watch us be able to get through into that game. 
So again, super looking forward to that one. Um, Tito says, uh, I wouldn't get your hopes up to this game. Was watching a vid, lots of red flags in it, asking for volunteers to help finish the project. Missed every deadline that they've set, which is why the game has ended up getting a load of shit. It's something that I mentioned before. I'll be, it looks very pretty. I hope that there's a lot to do within the game. You can't have an open world survival MMO game and not have anything to do. I feel like that's what DayZ did. Despite DayZ being a very good game, I feel like it ended up getting the popularity that it did because of the servers and the mods that people was building building into that game to try and make it worthwhile again i put a stupid amount of hours into the original vanilla daisy version of the game um and then obviously the popularity started to grow massively um when this when the modded server started to come in so again i'll be very surprised if this game is badass um rather than being badass um but we'll see we haven't got long to wait uh ad says it looks great uh tito also says that i'm worried about how they uh, monetize such a game like this when it's a survival mmo any items they sell will offer huge advances and cosmetic only likely won't be able to find the game sufficiently i agree with that like how do you monetize the game do you just accept that you're going to get 70 pounds for it and then that'll be it um, or are they going to offer you servers to be able to create your own city? Um, own your own server? I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. Uh, hopefully it is. <laughs> I mean, how do they do it in the division? I can't remember. Like, can you, but you can buy, um, you can buy stuff to be able to upgrade your armor and stuff like that, can't you? Like buy backpacks and buy guns and stuff to be able to top on it. Uh, it's free to play, uh, so no money up front. Oh, is that for is that for the the, the day before? I thought that this was going to be a paid game. See, I, I I'm running a video game podcast without all the facts because I just assumed that this was going to be a paid for game. So I apologize if I'm misleading anyone. Um, I'm naturally critical and suspicious of free to play games uh, Graham play anything other than PUBG never agree uh, apparently so video I saw said free to play I'm going to take your word for it because I assumed that it would just be a paid for game I don't remember seeing anything saying that it was going to be free to play but again I'm living in a world now where I tend not to watch that many trailers and I think I've said it on this podcast a lot if I know I all I need to do is just watch one watch one trailer and go okay that's the setting that I want to be in. That's I know that that's the genre that I want to be in. What's what's the gist of it? And then if I know the gist, I don't need to know anything else about it. I don't want to like lean into watching forty different trailers and the game be absolute shit. I tend to watch people playing games before I pull the trigger, unless we get sponsored to be able to do the stream, then I get the opportunity to be able to play it real time, which is nice. We don't get to do as much of that, that uh, than, than we used to do, um, basically due to time constraints. Um, we get offered quite a lot of games to be able to play through on launch day that we just have to turn down because we don't have the time to be able to do it. It's not worth the, it's not worth the time for us at this moment in time because um, we've got other things coming up uh, but this is a game that I would like to be able to have the opportunity to be able to do as soon as servers go live get involved and see what's, see what's happening out there the, the games are evolving games are changing um, and I know there's a lot of samey same out there but there's also games that are the same but are changing the formula slightly and that's the games that have my attention like I feel like a Division 3 game nowadays will probably do quite well because there seems to be games that are crying out for a live service MMO open world style game, which is obviously what the day before is trying to do. It's just, will it be worth our while? Is the world going to be populated? Is there going to be enough for me to keep on going back every single day to try and get the most out of this? If it's a live service game, there has to be. There has to be. Otherwise, it would DO, it'll be DOA. So that's, again, something that we're, that we look, that I'm looking forward to. I'm open-minded to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, State of Decay 3 is the big one, right? That's what we're looking forward to. It got announced like two years ago with a very short trailer, and we're still waiting to see what's going to happen with that. Um, but, again, moving this train forward, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, rather than doing it at the end, how about we do the loot drop? How about we do it now? I know, obviously, if anyone's watching this on you, uh, watching this on YouTube and stuff, like you'd expect this sort of stuff to be at the end. But let's mix the formula up. Let's 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 tweak the formula slightly. Um, here we go, console frame. As you can see, right here is a list of names. Look, let's move me. Let's move me. I'm not going to do the Graham thing because it's not here, and I feel like it'll be taken away from his pleasure. Um, but here's a list of names. You can see there is 37 people taking part in this one. So I do appreciate every single one of you um, that, 
you know, continued to be subscribed over the festive period, despite us not streaming once <laughs> since the 23rd. So again, I appreciate that. I am going to keep shuffling these these was drawn yesterday at 3 p.m when the cutoff was um so if you are again if you was a subscriber <laughs> Graham's here do it do it g approves he's appeared a while g has appeared um okay okay wait i've not got the f i've not got it i've not got it down like you have all right so ah! oh there he is he's fucking got it ah! oh Oh. Ah! Ah! There we go. Just for you that, Graham. Just for you that. Um, so, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll, in fact, I'll do this now. I need to trim this bit out so we can put it into the Discord um, for you guys. So, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the loot drop for January 2023. It's the first one of the year. Last month's, or last year's, shall we say, December 2022, did get claimed, but I am still waiting for you, Simon, to be able to give me your game of choice, despite chasing up from you about six times now. So, uh, yes, hopefully, whoever wins this today will be able to say, do you know what? I want this game, and I want it now. So this is a game of your choice. It's very similar to last month. Uh, we, me and Graham haven't had any conversations about it. So we'll just go game of your choice. So obviously, that is a standard edition. None of the super deluxe bollocks or anything like that. Um, there is 37 of you guys that have remained subscribed since last year, despite us not streaming since the 23rd of December. So I appreciate every single one of you that have continued to be subscribed to us during that period. Um, so it's a 1 in 37 chance of you guys being able to win a game of your choice. Let's get these shuffled a couple of times. There we go. All the names that are in there, all 37 of you let's see who wins there we go and that came through the tv at the back we know where it's coming from now so spin 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 oh chappers is it i am rain coming in oh my god by a pixel by a <laughs> chappers has been done by a pixel so i am rain congratulations congratulations on winning a game of your choice we'll drop this into the discord if you could be ever so grateful and let us know what it is that you want we'll get that over to you as soon as possible congratulations again i am right thankfully a non-sweary version there we go there we go yeah uh salted our gaming two three five good game oh okay i think that is uh <laughs> I think that's an emote that I can't see on here. Uh, Beans alt account, yeah. No, I am Rain is actually someone who uh, has been subscribed to us for the longest time. I think he's changed his name. Um, it was... Uh, I can't remember what his original name was. Graham, will, Graham remembers what it is. Is it Anarchy or something like that? Um, but he had I am Rain for the longest time now. Um, so yeah, congratulations. It's a subscriber that drops into, drops into the streams quite a lot. Fantastic. <laughs> Graham saying I'm so immature I agree uh, good luck Bean says Dave uh, just read a couple of articles no confirmed price or so no club is free to play at our full retail both articles did say however that it's only currently planned to be on PS, uh, P uh, PC via Steam at the moment so no Xbox or Playstation okay interesting uh, JMK says uh, GG Beans congrats Beans Beans Beans, beans. Um, oh I've, I've still got this on the screen so that's our back end for what Switch looks like if any of you ever know um Code Red says, afternoon, Bib. Afternoon. Aratrax, there you go. Aratrax is the one we're looking for. Uh, I predict the third reroll. No, it'll be absolutely fine. He is in the Discord. I think he might have actually won before now. I think he may have actually won. Um, so, yeah, we, we're good to go with that one. I, I, I'm not fearing that we're going to need a reroll for this one. I'm gonna, let me, I think the line's shining a bit too much on Tito there. So, we'll just move that. Oh, the, the light is following him. So, we'll just... There we go. No light. No light. Um, right, we've got one new, uh, one more news article and then one PSA. So how's about we get Fallout 76 is the PlayStation 4 version and Jedi Fallen Order is the PlayStation 5 and PS4 version. So Graham, officially on Tuesday when we see each other again, I will hand you your copy uh, of Jedi Fallen Order back now so you can, you know, probably never play it and just put it on a shelf somewhere. Um, was thinking the same. Oh, okay. So the internet went down in the studio. That has never happened before. I don't think. That's bizarre. Oh, yeah, it's gone down in there as well. Yeah, back 30, 33 seconds. Okay, that's annoying. Um, I don't know. Did you, did you guys get to see the article then? I blame Graham. Yeah, Graham joined the chat and it's gone down. 
Did you get? Did you guys get to see that article? Or do you want me to bring it back on the screen again? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, your PlayStation, your PlayStation monthly games are available now, and they are Axiom. Uh, nope, just got a saying. Graham's getting his game back. Nope, just caught the last bit of it. Of course we did. I don't know why they didn't decided to fail inside this studio. So I'll bring this one back on the screen then for you guys. Uh, so Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Axiom Verge 2 and Fallout 76 are free as of yesterday with your PlayStation 5 subscription. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is a PS5 and PS4 game. Uh, Fallout 76 is just a PlayStation 4 game, which is playable on your PlayStation 5, but you ain't getting all the goodness that comes with that and the power. And Axiom Verge 2 is a PS5 and PlayStation 4 game. So if you haven't got them already, go ahead, get them downloaded. Graham, when we meet again on Friday, on Tuesday next week in this office, I will give you your copy of Jedi Fallen Order back. How's about that? Now I've got it in my, in my PlayStation collection and also got it on Game Pass. I no longer need your copy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, go ahead, get all that. Um, you'll have a month to be able to do so. It's quite a, it's quite a decent showing of games that I haven't played much Fallout 76. I have started it. Um, I just haven't got time in my life for another MMO at this moment in time, it, despite it being in a world that I love in the Fallout franchise. Uh, but that is it for today's uh, news, ladies and gentlemen. I've given you four news articles as well as the loot drops. Congratulations to Iron Rame, a.k.a. Our Tracks. Um, I, I'm fairly certain you've won before, so the two times coming in. Um, we've got, I think the Spike has only won three times. Um, Gagad's won twice, I think. So, yeah, there's a couple of people that are double winners at this moment in time. But, again, thank you all for your continued support uh, from 2022 into 2023 and this is our first stream of 2023 so long may it may continue that we end up bringing you this podcast long may it continue you guys keep on supporting us as you have done since this is the channel's inception uh, our tracks won before i yeah there we go um Stick around, we will be sending you over to one of our friends. We will be back as well this week with some more episodes of The Scoop. How many that will be for the remaining month is going to be a bit up in the air. So again, if you're not open our Discord, please do feel free to get involved with that because we do tell you when we are going to be able to stream and when we're not. We do notify you with a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of time ahead of time that we aren't going to be able to do it that day. So please do go ahead and do so. We have an exceptionally busy January period. So I imagine normality will start to resume back in February time, but at this moment in time... Um, Maybe a bit spotty on the on the scoop front uh, as we're starting to get into the business end of the financial year. Um, but yeah, stick around, ladies and gentlemen. We'll send you over to one of our friends. But if you do have some video game news that you want us to talk about and you want featured on this podcast, there is two ways that you can do so. First of all, find us on social media. This is at Ice Cream Rolls across all major social media platforms or alternatively, get involved with our Discord. If you are in the chat, all the links will be provided there for you. But if you're watching this in any of our on-demand services, go into the description below. All the links that you require will be listed there below. Well, only from you is a URL plus your false impressions. We will then give you our false impressions on the very next show, which hopefully will be that tomorrow. Probably not at 10 a.m., but at some point then. So again, get involved with the Discord. We'll tell you and notify you when we are going to be going live. But again, stick around. We'll send you over to one of our friends. Uh, even if it's just a high and bite, it's always nice just to be able to show your faces uh, and just give, pass the love on, basically. Um, but until then, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you the first episode of The Scoop this year. And as always, there's one thing that we want you to do. And that, my friends, is to stay frosty. <laughs>